Hi, it's Marek Mulacek here and welcome to another episode of Photoshop Lightroom TV, your video podcast about anything Photoshop Lightroom and Bridge sometimes as well. Now this time in, in this episode of Photoshop Lightroom TV, I want to explain the, probably the biggest misconception about Lightroom and something that probably causes people the most problems in Lightroom. Something I get asked a lot on my Lightroom courses and people always have problems with that. And this is managing your images and your catalog. Because one of the main things you need to understand is that you don't open images in Lightroom. You don't import images into Lightroom. When you import images, Lightroom just creates a link to an image somewhere on the hard drive. So when you start working with images in Lightroom, you got these two main components, your catalog and your images. And you can store them any way you want. That's how flexible Lightroom is, but that's what causes so many people so many problems. Most people have problems with that. Because you can keep your catalog any way you want. You can have it on internal hard drive. You can have your images on internal hard drive as well. You can have images on external hard drive and keep your catalog on internal hard drive. Okay, Or you can keep everything on external hard drive as well. It's up to you how you manage it, but you need to make sure that the Lightroom can access images. So, for example, if you keep your catalog on internal hard drive and images on external hard drive, you need to make sure that you plug in your external hard drive so Lightroom can access the images. Okay. I'll show an example. So, for example, let's say, well, I've got a Lightroom catalog in my pictures folder. So if we go to pictures folder, I've got a catalog in here called my photos LR7, LR6. That's my actual catalog that I work with. Okay. So if I open, if I just launch Lightroom, and this will launch this catalog by default automatically, because on my internal hard drive that's okay, it will open just fine. However, I keep images on external hard drive. So when I open it, if you look in the folders panel, I get these question marks everywhere for all the content. Now Lightroom remembers what I did last, so remembers I was working with this little Venice folder, but it doesn't know, well, it, doesn't, it can't access the images. <clears throat> okay. Also, on the images, you get these exclamation marks everywhere because Lightroom can't access them. So, say if I want to develop one of the images, maybe this one here, if I go to develop module. I won't be able to develop it because Lightroom can't access the image. Okay, <clears throat> It says the folder could not be found and anything in the develop module will be grayed out. Because the image is on external hard drive or whatever the image is, if Lightroom cannot access your image, you won't be able to develop it. You get this message, photo is missing. You could go around it by enabling smart previews which you can do when you import images, or you can do it when, as you're working in Lightroom. And Lightroom will work with a low res uh, previous of the images, so you could develop them, you could work with them. And when you connect your hard drive of images, it will synchronize automatically. But you need to remember that normally Lightroom will have to find the images. Mm -hmm. That's the only way around it. So here's another example. If I go to File, Open Catalog, and I'll navigate to my Pictures folder in here. Okay, and I've got this. So whenever I want to open it, I would do need to have access to the images. Normally, I would just plug in my external hard drive because I've got them all external hard drive in here. Okay. But I'm going to leave it just so you can see exactly what's happening and what kind of challenges we have in here. Also, if you don't know where your images are, where they are stored, one thing you can do is in the folders panel, let's just scroll up, you can see where they're located. So mine are on, they should be on the E drive, which would be external memory, external hard drive. <clears throat> they're not on local disk, they're not on memory card, no. 
and mine are supposed to be in a folder called 2009 well these ones these, these images I'm looking for and you can just move the cursor over the folder and it will tell you what it's supposed to be this would be in the e folder in a backup folder so I've got a backup folder on external hard drive and there's some pictures folder inside with all the pictures I use in Lightroom if you have images on your internal hard drive but in different location maybe you move them or you rename them you need to point drummer uh, you need to point Lightroom to the new location of images so what it could do is I could go to one of his images click on his exclamation mark icon and says okay so let's locate it so I could click locate and tell Lightroom where I'm keeping the images okay and it's telling you what you're trying to locate little Venice underscore 16 DNG file and it used to be in the backup folder Lightroom will also find any nearby missing photos automatically. So once you pick this one image, it will pick the other four as well. Or it could be hundreds of images or thousands of images. Okay, But you need to know where you have the images. Because remember, you don't open images in Lightroom. Lightroom just takes a link to the image somewhere on hard drive, any hard drive, and it's just reading metadata from the file. So Lightroom needs to have access to images. So one of the really important things to remember is that when you import an image, so if I just hit import, say I want to import some new images, you need to make sure that you know where you import in images. Okay. So the destination section here is very important. Where are images going? Just so you know where they are. If the images have already been imported, I'll cancel that, you look in the files panel, and the files panel will tell you everything. But be careful, because if you have images spread across different folders and drives, you see a lot of drives in here. So I could see some images on local disk, maybe on a desktop, maybe in a pictures folder, downloads folder. It could take me forever to try to find them. So you need to be a little bit organized when working with Lightroom. If you start it from scratch, then what you could do is maybe organize all your images on your hard drive first, put them into folders, subfolders, and then import them into Lightroom from the current location using the Add option. This would save you a lot of time. Also, if the images have been developed already, and if the metadata has been saved to the files, Lightroom will pick it up automatically. Okay. okay, so I hope I helped a little bit. Any questions, let me know. Put some comments underneath the video, if you're watching it on uh, YouTube. Or let me know, you can contact me. You can go to my website, to saitraining.co.uk, and you can drop me an email. I'll be happy to help. And maybe see you on one of my Lightroom courses. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. This was Photoshop Lightroom TV. I'm Marek Mularczyk. Uh, check my Udemy course, Master Lightroom in Easy Steps, if you want to find more. This is the entire course that takes you from start to finish, explains everything in Lightroom. The link uh, at the bottom of the screen, if you're watching it on YouTube, obviously. And thank you for watching. Bye bye for now. <laughs>